Hi, first graders. Today, I want to talk to you about something that is one of my favorite things to do right now and is also something that you might find on your um, lesson or activity board, and that is going on a nature walk. And some of the things that you might see on your nature walks right now might be different than what you might have been seeing a couple of weeks ago. You might be seeing different types of flowers or insects or leaves growing on trees. So a lot of different things are changing right now because it is spring. One of the main things that you might see changing is that a lot of insects or bugs or butterflies are coming out now. But some of those insects are really good hiders and they can camouflage themselves or hide themselves in nature. So I brought a book with me today and it's called How to Hide a Butterfly and Other Insects. And while I'm reading this story, I want you to try and find um, the insect or the butterfly that is camouflaging itself or hiding itself in the pages. So I hope you enjoy this spring book, How to Hide a Butterfly. And hopefully the next time you go on a nature walk, you'll be thinking of some of the things that you saw in the book and maybe you'll be able to find some creatures hiding. So, How to Hide a Butterfly, and this book is written by Ruth Hellers. The butterfly that you see here just folds its wings to disappear. Could you find the butterfly? This moth will do a different thing. It covers up each underwing, so all that anyone can see is the bark upon a tree. The inchworm's feet are at both ends to move its stretches and it bends. Then it performs a magic trick and imitates a twig or stick. The praying mantis likes to make a sound just like a hissing snake and spreads its wings to scare a foe. It somehow always seems to know it won't be seen when dining where the leaves are green. Grasshoppers leap, sometimes three feet, and what you thought that you just saw now looks more like a bit of straw. This fly you see looks like a bee and thereby fools its enemy, but here's a clue I'll tell to you. Flies only have one pair of wings, while bees, you see, have two. Spiders are not insects, as I'm sure you know, but this spider is a hider, and she's very, very slow to change herself to yellow, and then to pink or white, depending on the flower that she decides is right, where she can wait to catch her prey and still be out of sight. So I hope you enjoyed this story and hopefully you can press pause on the video and try and see if you can find the insects that are camouflaged on each page inside of nature. So hopefully you guys can head out on a nature walk and try and find some of these creatures. Have a great day.